welcome to my next video it's going to be a literacy video and it's how to write a postcard I thought it might be quite nice in case you're missing your friends and family you could write each other some postcards so I hope you enjoy the lesson hey everybody I'm going to start my literacy lesson on how to write a postcard so the first thing you need to know is what is a postcard so I had a little look on YouTube and I found this video here and it's a very simple way of explaining what a postcard is. So a postcard is a little letter that you send after you've visited somewhere. So it could be you're on holiday and you want to tell your family and friends about what you've seen and what you've done. Okay, so it tells them everything about what you've done, about the place you've visited. Okay, so you can have a little look at that link. Also, if you've got any postcards at home, dig them out, talk about what is a postcard, have a little read, talk about where the people visited, and just share those memories, which might be quite nice. So, there's a certain things you need to include on a postcard. So the space over here for the stamp, okay? So without the stamp, you can't send the postcard. So have a little look if you've got some at home, have a look at the different types of stamp, because if you got it from Spain, it would be different than the stamp that you got from England, okay? Then we've got some lines down here, and that is for the person's address. So that means that once the stamp is on and the address is in, it goes to the person's house. So for example, it would have my name, so it would have Miss Clark, then it would have where I live. So you would have a line of the where you live with a postcode, okay? So you would have to get that information off a parent to write that sort of thing, okay? Then this space here is to write, okay? So that is to write what you want to to the person you are sending it to. And every postcard on the other side has a picture. So it will have a picture of the place that you've been. So you will choose what you want to, uh, which picture you want to send. Okay, so for example, if you went to Blackpool, you may choose a picture of the promenade and you would write on that postcard. So, what are you going to write? So, you may write what you've seen. So yesterday, I saw the Blackpool Tower. It was ginormous. Okay, what activities have you done? Today, we went on a long, 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 long walk down the pier. Okay. What have you enjoyed? Oh, I loved it when we went to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Okay. What are you going to do? So, oh, I'm going to go up Blackpool Tower tomorrow. Hopefully I can see the sea, something like that, okay? So, what you've seen, what activities you have done, what you enjoyed and what you are going to do. Might be something you include in a postcard. Right, so just an example of what a postcard might look like. I've used exa the example of Blackpool quite a lot. So this is Blackpool here. So it's quite an old fashioned one there. But that could be an example of a postcard that you send someone from Blackpool. So I'm just going to model writing a postcard. So my topic at my school was the rainforest. So that's why I've decided to write around the rainforest because I've learned lots and lots. So here is my pretend postcard. Okay, it has the space for um, a stamp and it also has some lines for the address. And I've decided that I've gone on holiday on my own so I've written mine to my mum and dad, but you can write your postcard to anybody. Okay, so remember, we had to talk about what we have seen. Okay, so I'm going to start with saying what I saw yesterday. So, dear mum and dad, yesterday, yesterday, I saw a big, I've got 
put my abstracts there. Stuff around. L D athletes of stock. So yesterday I saw a big strong elephant. Okay, so I've said what I've saw, what did I do? Hmm, well I saw a big strong elephant. What did I do? I took lots of photos, that would be a good thing. So yesterday I saw a big strong elephant. I lots of pictures maybe I'm going to say that they might look at them when I get back I did, I took lots of pictures. Right, what am I going to do? So I might say, tomorrow I am going to, hmm, what might I do in the rainforest? So tomorrow I am going to, have a little think what I might do. I apologise if you can hear my dog. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going. Brilliant! I am going to swim in the river. That's fantastic. Just look this up. Swim in the river. Oh, stop. So, dear mum and dad, yesterday I saw a big, strong elephant. I took lots of pictures. I will show you when I am back. Tomorrow I am going to swim in the river. So you could write lots more, but that's all I can fit on my board. So, before you go off and write your own postcards, I've just got some top tips for writing. So, always say the sentence out loud. So you heard me rehearsing what I wanted to write. Then sound out each word using the phonics that you have learned. So if you haven't learned the ear sound, don't try and write it, use the phonics you have learned, okay? Don't forget those finger spaces, I remembered all of my finger spaces. Capital letters at the beginning of a sentence. Full stops at the end of a sentence, not at the end of every line, at the end of a sentence. And then lastly, check it makes sense, read it back, get your mum or dad to read it, but sound out each word as you're reading it back to check it makes sense. So good luck, I hope you write some fantastic postcards. Thank you for watching my lesson on postcards. If you do any postcards and send them, that would be fantastic. Once again, any questions, just pop it in the comments. Thanks, guys.